Hello, I'm John Emmerich, and what we're going to talk about today is using the Yamaha DTX Multi-12 as a triggering kit for BFD2, Eco, and for that matter, the Zildjian Digital Vault version of Eco, which is the Z-Pack 1. A lot of uh, producers, a lot of uh, composers, they might not have the room in their studios or the production rooms for a full-size kit like the DTX 900. The Multi-12 gives you an excellent alternative to a full-size kit. It's also great because it's compact. This is a great kit just for traveling and doing different kinds of uh, music live as it's really quickly uh, set up. So what I've done is I have the DTX Multi-12. There are inputs for triggers on the back. So I've brought over the bass drum, snare drum, and hi-hat pads from my 900 series kit and incorporated them. So the bread and butter for any groove would basically be snare drum, hi-hat, and bass drum. Now, having these extra three pads means that everything feels kind of like it's supposed to in you know compared to a real kit or the DTX 900 I'm not trying to play around on these little bitty pads up here but I'm still not taking up very much room so what I've done is and this will be available at fexpansion.com and I will also provide copies to Yamaha I've put together a couple of different sets of files there will be uh, the files for the DTX Multi-12 and there will also be the corresponding files for BFD2 and Eco. Loading both of these files into your system gives you a plug and play. Now the setup will be basically my exact same setup but it gives you a great foundation if you want to change things. So just to run down what I've done real quick, obviously the bass drum is the bass drum snare drum. You have the, the hit, the rim shot, and the cross stick. Hi-hat, two different zones, and fully variable. Now on the DTX Multi-12 itself, uh, starting on pads 1 and 2, those are the two different crash symbols in BFD2 and in Eco. Pad 3 is the bell for the ride cymbal and pad six is the actual hit area of the cymbal, the bow. So it makes it really intuitive for playing. You can play your ride cymbal and just reach slightly forward and play the bell. Pads four and five are set for the percussion voices in BFD2. Now in the percussion voices, you get a, a primary and an alternative hit. So like for cowbell, your primary and then your alternative. It's cool, you can play a, a traditional sounding cowbell part. Very uh, slick way to do that. Now moving on to pads 7, 8, and 9. Those are high to low, the three toms in the 10-piece setup for BFD2 and for Eco. Now one set down gives you the last set of pads on the multi-12, which is 10, 11, and 12, directly below each tom is a rim shot for those toms. So in conjunction with the BFD expansion packs that are downloadable from fexpansion.com, um, in fact, when you go there, you'll find all sorts of different drum sets that are, are and a lot of the, the Yamaha stuff. This kit's the Maple Custom Absolute kit. And those rim shots are all actually samples within those kits. So by going to uh, the website, or even in BFD2 or Eco, you can hit the little button called Drum Shop. You can have access to Maple Custom, Maple Custom Absolute, Birch Custom, Hev uh, Oak. The Birch and the Oak are in the kit called uh, Heavy. There's uh, Signature Snares Volume 1, Signature Snares Volume 2. There's the Yamaha Cocktail Kit. There's, uh, I mean, it just it just keeps going. There's a Schleissman kit, which is kind of cool. There's a JEX kit, which is a custom kit that I had made for me. Um, 
it's worth checking out. They're very inexpensive. This kit is a $50 add-on for a high-resolution, fully-sampled drum set that you can then play from this little DTX Multi-12. So follow the, uh, the directions that you'll see included in the files for the downloads on how to put this stuff together, and enjoy yourself playing music.